Cardis Executive Vice President Ray Pennings participated in a public debate on the funding of private education in Alberta this month. Speakers Corner Calgary organizes events every week throughout the summer at Tompkins Park in downtown Calgary. The controversial topic? Be it resolved that all funding be cancelled to private and chartered schools. Speaking for the resolution was Kent Hare, member of the Legislative Assembly of Alberta for Calgary Buffalo. It doesn't matter whether you're a family of meager means or of great wealth. You can send your child to the public education system. Opposed, Cardis's Ray Pennings. The jurisdictions that are doing best internationally on the international scores are those that do provide some sort of funding for, and choice in, in funding in terms of school systems. The debate covered a range of concerns, including educational excellence, diversity, financial concerns, and contributions to the common good. In my view, you know, when, you, when, you, when only people go to a school of the same beliefs, same thought patterns, and the like, how can, how can that really lead to uh, um, the most vibrant society? We recognize that monopolies rarely are the incubators of innovation. In fact, I think the evidence is quite clear that when we allow and encourage, also through funding, the expression of diverse models of education, I would say when we welcome them all as part of a public education system and we learn from each other and in that way take the best practices, apply them across the board and allow that marketplace of choice to drive innovation and improve our education system, we at the end of the day will see improvement for all Albertans. The two speakers supported their positions by referencing Canadian law and international examples, and Pennings had a particularly potent way to support his argument. The Cardis Education Survey, a collection of data regarding religious school graduates. The evidence, the data suggests that in terms of learning to play and to respect and to get along with people who are different than themselves, the graduates of non-public schools are doing better in adult life than the data or than the graduates of public schools. The debate was followed by an open mic question and comment session during which several members of the community shared their own perspectives on this issue. In my opinion, Alberta is reaching a tipping point. Missed the debate? Your chance to participate isn't over. Follow Cardis CA on Facebook and Twitter to react and respond as Cardis Education releases new data and analysis. From Cardis Headquarters, I'm Naomi Beeshable.